Hello everyone, welcome back to landscaping. Today we will be heading out mowing. We have 13 residential lawns on the list. I came over to the shop a bit early this morning in the Duramax. I've been in the office doing roughly about an hour's worth of paperwork. It's all done now, let's get loaded up and get today's day started. Today we will be using the right stander with the bagger, the new walker mower, and the Chevy 2500 with the utility trailer. Uh, while this Duramax get warmed up here for a few minutes, why don't we get both mowers turned on? On. And today will be a busy day here for us. All residentials in the same part of town, which uh, will help us out, and it will be able to get them done a lot faster. I'm really excited to be back here mowing. The weather has been really good lately, a little bit of rain as well, which is perfect. That means the grass is growing, and we could go mow it. If you do end up enjoying today's video, please drop a like. It's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Now I thought today instead of driving over to the shop, why don't we just kind of show you guys the entire process of getting loaded up and heading on out now. We already have the weed eaters on the trailer and we do have a few leaf blowers in the back of the bed. So we just need to get the mowers and everything else good to go here. Now I really want, really, really want safety chains. I think that's kind of the last uh, cool thing we really do need to make our setup as realistic as possible. I hope everyone's been having a good day here so far. Let me know how it is down below. My days so far been pretty good, and it looks like we are getting a little bit of bad weather over the next few days, but hope everyone has been doing pretty well. Now I really do like this Silverado here, one of my favorite work trucks, I'm a big fan of this older generation uh, Duramax, as they look so cool, and I think we'll first load the walker on. Now I still do have to work out a few bugs here with the walker, hopefully everything gets worked out soon so we uh, can continue to use it without having it, uh, kind of have a few errors, a few bugs with it as you guys can see when it is parked here. But we do have both wheels on the back instead of just one like we used last week with the demo. And we'll get loaded up right about there. Seems to be good here. Looks like it might be shifting around on us just a little bit. Now, I will have to say, we do have a few crews coming in this week to do a little bit of work, expand our shop, and it might have another surprise for you, uh, depending on if I really like it or not, which should be uh, pretty awesome. Now, I am a big fan of mowing here. I really do enjoy landscaping here in Farm Sim. It's so much fun, and we get to do so many cool things here. We do have some big jobs coming up this week as well, uh, which uh, should be great. We'll get the gate closed here, and we are ready to go. Some mornings, it takes us a little bit longer to get loaded up. Sometimes, it's uh, pretty quick and easy, like today. Just getting the mowers is a lot easier than attachments, skid steers, everything else on the trailers. Yeah, it looks like the walker will be shifting around here on us. I think actually we'll probably put that to work first and then uh, we'll use the right. Now this Duramax here has been a great work truck since purchasing it. One of my favorite trucks and I'm just a big fan here of the regular cab long beds. They're such great work trucks and uh, we don't really need the crew cabs. A shorter wheelbase and they are a bit cheaper. Now with the landscaping series, we do have some more projects coming up. We do have some last minute projects we'll be trying to get done uh, before the uh, winter season comes and before the ground freezes. That's going to be the biggest thing. We cannot have the ground freeze here on us, but fall cleanups will be coming as well. There's so much cool videos uh, to come with this series. Now I am trying to do a mowing video every single week here for you guys. I'm trying to change it up as best I can uh, to uh, kind of help with the content. You guys seem to really be enjoying them as well. Now, actually, over the last few weeks, I've been mowing my lawn here just with a Honda Push mower that I've actually done a few videos on. I'm a big fan of that, but I also do have a uh, riding lawnmower as well. So we are actually going to be doing three houses here on this street. I'm not sure how much we'll get done. Maybe we'll do two or even all three of them, and then we'll do all the weed eating at the end. I think that's probably how we'll do it here. Let's get the hazard lights going. We'll get the trailer unfolded. Why don't we use a walker first, and then uh, we'll switch back to the right. Now this will be our first day getting to the right here with the bagger. We bought the bagger in the previous upgrade video and along with the uh, walker there. But we'll get this unloaded. Look at that bagger. That's so cool here. Now I am thinking why don't we buy the double wheels uh, for the back. Kind of have the dual wheels. That would look so, uh, so cool. And that would really help out with the stability on some of the hills that we'll be mowing. We'll kind of uh, get going here on this and we'll get the blades going. 
really am excited to be putting the blades back to the ground here and uh, heading out with the mowing crew. It's uh, just a great part of it. And we mow 70 lawns a week, guys. Imagine one lawn uh, times 70. So, so many lawns we mow. And we do have a great group of people that do help us mow, which is awesome. And we also do have lots of mowers. That's why you guys see we have so many mowers is because we have one or two crews going out every day along with the landscaping uh, crew here. It looks like mowing a little bit over the property line there, but I don't think we'll have a problem. Let's see if we can lay down some really good stripes here. The walkers are really known uh, for their stripe work, especially the uh, rear discharge and the mulching uh, like this one. Now let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite mower here? I'm trying to have all of the different mower brands and uh, mower brands that uh, you guys want to see uh, in upcoming videos. Now I am back to school here within the next uh, three, four days here. I can't wait for that and I just wanted to let you guys know there will be more content every single day, uh, just probably one video and I am still working on a farming series video. It's taking a little bit more time uh, than usual but I can't wait uh, to have a video for you guys there. Laying down some really nice stripes here alongside the house here and uh, the homeowners when they get home from work they will see their lawn is nicely mowed. Now last week we did not actually take the zero turns out here. We actually got to use uh, the uh, brush mower on the uh, Bobcat which was great. And I still have to update this map here to the latest version as well. And it's just a work in progress taking a lot longer than expected. Oh yeah full speed here with the walker is just so awesome. It's a really quick mower. It's meant for really big commercial lots. Now I am still working out the problems here, especially with it kind of moving when we aren't in it or uh, driving it. I really want to get all of that worked out and uh, just continue to use it here because we definitely still need it uh, before the uh, seasons change. Now if you guys have not already, I do ask that you please subscribe. It's much appreciated here as we are growing, growing uh, faster and faster towards 100,000 subscribers. I'm really excited for the future here of the channel. Lots of cool content to come as well as the usual content that you guys see every week. And I am also posting over on Instagram every single day here, which is a lot of fun. I actually give you guys some sneak peeks and lots of cool updates. And I will actually have you guys kind of help a vote. I will be using the voting tool as well soon. So I think that should be uh, nice uh, to give a try. Now this back area, I don't think we'll probably just uh, try to match the stripes. Just not enough room to really uh, get turned around back and forth. It's going to take us a little bit too much time. Just look at the uh, cut quality here. The walker has one of the best in the business with the uh, deck that completely floats over the ground. Really make sure uh, that we don't have any scalping. And that's a big thing with mowing. You really don't want scalping, anything like that happening. Another pass or two here, and then that's it, and I can't wait uh, to use the uh, right stander there. We don't really use it too often, but that is one of the best uh, stand-ons that we uh, know of in the industry here. So I can't wait to really give that a try. Why don't we uh, do that, and then I think we'll do maybe one more, but we'll have to see where time goes. But we have the brand new bagger. We should be able to bag the entire property it, uh, with one bag here. It's a pretty big one. And the grass isn't too tall here today. It's just the normal height as well. Now a few of our customers have been requesting lately that we do bag here just to make sure we don't put any uh, bad kind of lawn seeds back into the lawn. Really I'm excited though to be back here on the stander. I actually much prefer the stander sometimes they do have great visibility over the lawn. But for long periods of time if I was out mowing uh, let's say the entire day switching between mowers uh, will uh, probably be my number one choice. Really don't want to be mowing on a stand on like this for 10-12 uh, hours a day. It's just way too much uh, standing and by the end of the day I probably won't be able to even walk. Now the property line actually does not go all the way over there. Someone actually owns a little piece of land here in between here. So that's a little bit different than some of the uh, properties we have mowed. But uh, it's just kind of how it is sometimes. Making really good progress here mowing. We already have one done. Probably, uh, get, uh, probably just around two done here in today's video. And that means I still have 11 more to do. Now I really want to do some more multiplayer content as well. That's something I'm working on. Trying my best to do. And there's just lots of cool content to come. 
Now I am getting really close to revealing the big project here on the channel. That's going to be pretty cool as well. And I hope you guys really do like that once it's complete. We want to make sure we get all these uh, little patches areas here. But I really do like on the right how the uh, rims are actually completely blacked out. That kind of gives a little bit more of a sporty, kind of cooler look than just kind of the regular matching uh, color. Just back and forth here, laying down some pretty good stripes. I really do wish uh, the uh, stripes actually showed up here in farms, and that would be such a cool feature. And I'm just not sure how. I did try it, uh, in previous versions of the game just to uh, lay down some really good stripes, and it's just extremely hard to do. But I might give it a try. Maybe do a throwback. I think that's what we'll have to do is another throwback to maybe uh, one of the older versions of the game. I really did enjoy doing those uh, months ago, and I think we'll probably do some more of them. But let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite series that you do here on the channel? I really like all of them, but I will have to say the homeowner series and the landscaping are definitely uh, tied for my number one. They're just so much fun, and there's so much uniqueness to them as well, which is great. Using the steering wheel here really is helpful. It's been a big change switching from a controller to uh, the steering wheel, but uh, uh, that, making that change at the start of summer definitely has increased my farming simulator experience here, and I hope uh, that we could get a new game out. Once the new consoles come out, I might end up uh, getting farm sim on console, do some pretty cool, maybe a whole console uh, playlist series. I think that would be a lot of fun. Maybe we could do that with FS19. Oh yeah, we'll be able to get this done here, and we should be able to do the weed eating at both of these, and then we'll uh, probably call it a day here uh, for the video. Now I am still working here on the map, I really want to do kind of a whole new texture system and it looks like the brightness is a little bit different than some of the other maps as well so there's things I'm just trying to work out, just trying to have this be the best map that I possibly can and I'm not sure if it will uh, get released and when if it is, uh, I'm just not sure here. It's a work in progress and there are some pretty big errors uh, that I really do have to get worked out. And there we go here, pretty much done with this. Wow, look at that. Uh, both mowers did an incredible job here, but I will have to say, uh, getting to use this right again was awesome. We've used the walker so many times, and especially last week, very similar mower. It's just nice to be back uh, behind the wheel of a different one, and we'll get this turned off here. Now, what we'll probably do is we'll just probably empty the grass here into the back of the truck, kind of the old-fashioned way, and we'll just kind of shovel it out of the back here. But let's get the weed eater, perfect, and we'll just go around around these few trees. Perfect. Now I am a big fan of this weed eater. It's much easier to me than using the other weed eater uh, that really does work here. This one is great uh, for the roleplay purposes. Just going right along the building. And one thing I just remembered with the bagger, we don't actually have to worry about leaving any grass stains, anything like that. And one more just about here. So there we go, guys. Uh, I will have to finish up here, put the weed eater away. But thanks for watching uh, today's video. Getting to the 2017 Duramax with the utility trailer, the right stander, and the new walker mower. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.